Come on. Even though our Bibles refer to the Creator as the Lord, this title fails to accurately represent the actual name given in the original Hebrew Old Testament writings. Approximately 7,000 times the Hebrew writings referred to the Creator as either YHWH or simply YH. Due to the regrettable tradition of replacing the Creator's name with the title, the Lord, the exact pronunciation of YHWH remains uncertain to this day. Fortunately, the pronunciation of YH is still well known throughout the world. Psalm 68 and 4 Sing to God, sing praises to his name, extol him who rides on the clouds, by his name Yah, and rejoice before him. Now let's imagine a time long ago before Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Imagine Moses speaking to the Israelites in the land of Moab relaying the message he received from Yah. Now it shall come to pass, if you diligently obey the voice of Yah your God, to observe carefully all his commandments, which I command you today, that Yah your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of Yah, your God. Blessed shall you be in the city. Blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body, the produce of your ground, and the increase of your herds, the increase of your cattle, and the offspring of your flocks. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. Yah will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. They will come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. Yah will command the blessing on you in your storehouses and in all to which you set your hand. And he will bless you in the land which Yah, your God, is giving you. Yah will establish you as a holy people to himself, just as he has sworn to you, if you keep the commandments of Yah, your God, and walk in his ways. Then all the people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of Yah, and they shall be afraid of you. And in the land that Yah swore to your fathers, Yah will give you prosperity in the fruit of your body, in the increase of your livestock, and in the produce of your ground. Yah will open to you his good treasure, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hand. You shall lend to many nations, but shall not borrow. And Yah will make you the head and not the tail. And you will be above only and not beneath, if you obey the commandments of Yah, your God, which I command you today, and if you are careful to observe them. So you shall not 
turn away from any of the words which I command you this day to the right or to the left to go after other gods to serve them. However, if you do not obey Yah your God and do not carefully follow all his commands and decrees I am giving you today, all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. Cursed shall you be in the city. Cursed shall you be in the field. Cursed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Cursed shall be the fruit of your body, the produce of your land, the increase of your cattle, and the offspring of your flocks. Cursed shall you be when you come in, and cursed shall you be when you go out. Yah will send on you curses, confusion, and rebuke in all that you set your hand to do until you are destroyed and until you perish quickly because of the wickedness of your doings in which you have forsaken me. Yah will make the plague cling to you until he has consumed you from the land which you are going to possess. Yah will strike you with consumption, with fever, with inflammation, with severe burning, with the sword, with scorching, and with mildew. They shall pursue you until you perish. And the heavens which are over your head shall be bronze, and the earth which is beneath you shall be iron. Hmm? Yah will change the rain of your land to powder and dust. From heaven it will come down on you until you are destroyed. Yah will cause you to be defeated before your enemies. You will go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them, and you shall become troublesome to all the kingdoms of the earth. Your dead bodies will be food for all the birds of the air and all the beasts of the earth and no one will frighten them away. Onchocercovolvulus. Yah will strike you with the boils of Egypt, million people. with tumors, terrible with the scab, and with the itch skin. from which you cannot be healed. Yah will strike you also see with madness of, uh, and blindness, lead to blindness and confusion of mind. And you will grope at noonday, like a blind man gropes in the darkness and you will not prosper in your ways, and you will only be oppressed and plundered continually, and no one will save you. <laughs> you will be engaged to a woman, but another man will sleep with you. You will build a house, but someone else will live in it. You will plant a vineyard, but you will never enjoy its fruit. Your ox will be slaughtered before your eyes, and you will not eat of it. Your donkey will be violently taken away from you and will not be restored to you. Your sheep will be given to your enemies and you will have no one to rescue them. Your sons and your daughters shall be given to another people and your eyes will look and fail with longing for them all day long, and there will be no strength in your hand. produce of your labor, and you shall be only oppressed and crushed continually. You will go mad because of all the tragedy you see around you. 
Yah will strike you on the knees and on the legs with severe boils, which cannot be healed from the sole of your feet to the top of your head. Yah will bring you and the king whom you set over you to a nation which neither you nor your fathers have known. And there you shall serve other gods, wood and stone. And you will become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all the nations where Yah will send you. You will plant much, but harvest little, because the locusts will eat your crops. You will plant vineyards and care for them, but you will neither drink the wine nor gather the grapes, because the worms will eat them. You will grow olive trees throughout your land, but you will never use the oil because the fruit will drop before it ripens. You will have sons and daughters, but you will not keep them because they will go into captivity. The locusts will consume all the trees and the produce from your land. The foreigners who live among you will rise higher and higher above you, and you will come down lower and lower, and he will lend to you, but you will not lend to him. And he will be the head, and you will be the tail. All these curses will come upon you and pursue you and overtake you until you are destroyed because you did not obey the voice of Yah your God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he gave you and they will be upon you for a sign and a wonder continually because in the time of prosperity you did not joyfully and gladly serve Yah your God. Therefore, you will serve your enemies, whom Yah sends against you in hunger, in thirst, in nakedness, and in need of everything. And he will put a yoke of iron on your neck until he has destroyed you. Yah will bring a nation against you from afar, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies a nation whose tongue you will not understand. 1776. On a day of high emotions, hours after declaring independence, Congress asked Thomas Jefferson, Ben Franklin, and John Adams to choose an emblem for the fledgling United States. The bald eagle was distinctly American, the ultimate emblem of a nation with soaring aspirations. They're just so, so big and so mean looking and strong looking. It's a majestic sight. The white head, the white tail, just makes it stand out. A fierce looking people who shows no respect for the old and no pity for the young. And they will devour the young of your livestock and the crops of your land until you are destroyed. They will leave you no grain, new wine, olive oil, calves of your herds, or lands of your flocks until you are ruined. They will lay siege to all the cities throughout your land until the high fortified walls in which you trust fall down. They will besiege all the cities throughout the land that Yah, your God, is giving you. Because of the suffering your enemy will inflict on you during the siege, you will eat the fruit of your own bodies. The flesh of your sons and daughters whom Yah has given you. Even the most gentle and sensitive man among you will have no compassion on his own brother or the wife he loves or his surviving children. And he will not give to one of them any of the flesh of his children that he is 
eaten. It will be all that he has left because of the suffering your enemy will inflict on you during the siege of all your cities. The tender and delicate woman among you who will not venture to set the sole of her foot on the ground because of her delicateness and sensitivity will refuse to the husband she loves and her son and daughter her placenta which comes out from between her feet and the new baby she has born for she will eat them secretly because of the suffering your enemy will inflict on you during the siege of your cities. If you do not carefully observe all the law that is written in this book, that you may fear this glorious and awesome name, yeah, your God. Then Yah will send upon you and your descendants extraordinary plagues, great and prolonged plagues, and serious and prolonged sicknesses. Moreover, he will bring upon you all the diseases of Egypt which you dreaded, and they will cling to you. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in this book of the law will Yah bring upon you until you are destroyed. You who are as numerous as the stars in the sky will be left but few in number because you did not obey the voice of Yah, your God. And it shall be just as Yah rejoiced over you to do you good and multiply you, so Yah will rejoice over you to destroy you and bring you to nothing. And you shall be plucked off from the land which you go to possess. And Yah will scatter you among all people from one end of the earth to the other. And there you will serve other gods, which neither you nor your fathers have known, wood and stone. And among those nations you will find no rest, nor shall the sole of your foot have a resting place. But there Yah will give you a trembling heart, failing eyes, and anguish of soul. Your life will hang in doubt before you, and you shall fear day and night, and shall have no assurance of your life. In the morning you will say, Oh, that it was evening! And in the evening you will say, Oh, that it was morning! Because of the fear which terrifies your heart, and because of the sight which your eyes see. And Yah will take you back to Egypt in ships. By way of which I say it to you, you shall never see it again. And there you will be offered for sale to your enemies as male and female slaves. And no man will redeem you.